We're seeing a nationally televised event take place on our downtown lakefront, but we're being told that there's an inability to even accept paperwork for a block party in September or October. A double standard and peak hypocrisy. That's how critics describe the city of Cleveland's continued inaction when it comes to special event permits. And not only that, Mayor Frank Jack Jackson has proposed an entirely new division at City Hall and a six-figure salary to go with it. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more now on this perplexing proposal. Under the mayor's proposal, the city would take what is currently the Office of Special Events, which is under the Division of Public Works, and create entirely new division out of it called the Division of Special Events, Filming and Tourism. However, one city council member says the city's priorities are simply mismatched. If pandemic-stricken 2020 brought the summer of cancellations, 2021 in Cleveland may become the summer of frustrations. If you don't have the date scheduled, if you don't have the date locked in, you can't do the other things. So while we wait, we can't really do any of that. Shannon Oki is the founder of the Cleveland Bazaar, a summer tradition that brings small business owners and artisans together to sell their unique wares. She needs a permit to plan the season schedule, but she can't because the city has not accepted applications since the pandemic began. We've tried to play by the rules. We have sat here and waited and, you know, waited and waited, but the chance of salvaging a successful summer season is quickly coming to a close if we don't get some answers soon. The optics are bad. And when residents have been asking a question for months and the answer is to uh, propose a new office that isn't even wouldn't even be allowed to work right now because we're not issuing permits, it's <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I understand the strategy. Despite not issuing permits, Mayor Frank Jackson wants city council to permit the creation of a brand new division of special events, filming and tourism. It would be made out of what is currently the Office of Special Events within the Division of Public Works. A manager and commissioner would oversee this new division, commanding combined salaries of up to $226,000. Ward 17 Councilman Charles Slife. People view this as just outright hypocrisy. Says the proposal is duplicitous and disingenuous. That could uh, mill and fill resurface a street. Uh, that could repair park equipment. That could provide all of the basic services that really, that, that's what the residents of the city of Cleveland call their council members about. The only value it would bring is bringing a, a new civil servant in to manage things that already occur. You know, we have had an office of special events for years that successfully managed the RNC, other major events. We have a track record. Councilman's life says he's still waiting on a response from the mayor's office, and Oki has grown tired of waiting too. What was supposed to be a summer of celebration is slowly becoming a summer of consternation. This is my business, this is my livelihood, but it's extra frustrating knowing that dozens and dozens and dozens of small businesses, primarily women owned, primarily micro businesses of one and two people, are left without a venue. And we have asked the mayor's office for comment. However, those requests were not returned. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.